Hi everyone, welcome to a Sip and Spin Spindle Spotlight. Today's spindle that I'm going to talk about is a Jerry Brock cross arm spindle, most commonly referred to as a Turkish spindle. One of the really great things about this spindle style is the fact that the shaft has a pointed tip, which means this spindle can be spun either suspended or supported. And it has the spot up at the top, it doesn't have a hook, but it does have a little bit of an indent, which makes that half hitch really stick, which is really wonderful. So to store these spindles, this is the nice thing, they do store flat, and to set them up, we're simply going to take the shaft out, we're going to slip the smaller cross arm in, and then we are going to secure it. So it is now secured. And we need to get the fiber started or the leader started. There are a lot of different ways to get leaders started. Personally, I like wrapping a little bit of fiber around the top, drafting out some, pinching it off so I am essentially creating a loop, and then spinning supported. back it slid off that's okay and I am using my fingers to stop it so I'm wrapping it around a little bit I'm going to draft out and then I'm going to continue spinning to get that energy built up and as you can see I've got a lot of energy built up in this and it's not going to stay that way I'm, I'm going to draft out but I want to get that energy built up if you're a new spinner Park and draft is really a great way to get started. So while I have all of this energy built up, I'm going to stop the twist from traveling. If it does get past my thumb and index finger, that's okay. I'm going to untwist it, pull it out a little bit, pinch it off with my thumb and index finger, and then let the twist travel up to where I've stopped it. Now this leader isn't quite long enough to get started, so I'm going to go again. One of the things that I love about being able to spin a Turkish spindle as a supported spindle is that I can build up a temporary cop and then wind on. So as you can see, I have a very substantial cop built up right here. I will butterfly by wrapping it around my thumb and index finger. And then I will take it off. Now the nice thing with a butterfly, it gives me an opportunity to check and see the consistency of my single before I wind on. Now I need to, dis I need to secure this somehow, so I'm going to slide this up just a little bit. Put my leader tuck it in underneath there, you know, it has a loop, I might as well use the loop. It's another nice thing about creating a loop, you can just slide it on and now that's, that's very secure and it's important to have that secure because with a cross arm spindle like this, I'm creating a center pull ball. So I need to make sure I know where my ends are. If I lose one of my ends, it's going to make this very difficult to use as a center pull ball. So now I have this very secure. I've slid the loop over the shaft and to wind on a cross arm spindle, I'm going to go over two of the arms, under one, over two, under one, over two, under one, and then I am ready to spin again. Now, if I want to spin this suspended, I will take the yarn, I will wrap it around my thumb, bring my thumb to my spindle and pop it on, and that is my half hitch. So I've created a half hitch, and now, oh, I have this tail. I have discovered that if you have any kind of bracelet, I do enjoy the silicone for this, I can tuck that tail up underneath there, and it's not going to get in the way as I spin. 
So now as I spin supported, it's fast, it's well balanced, and I can very easily do a short forward draw, which means I'm pulling out just a little bit at a time. The fiber that I'm using is combed top, so this is a worsted prep, which means using sh short forward draw, I'm going to be spinning it as a worsted method. So this will be a very, it will not be a light airy yarn. Over two. And I'm ready to go again. I do prefer spinning Turkish spindles supported, again, because I really like long draw. So building on that temporary cop, spinning supported, now I can draft out, I can get the spin going and draft out. And I will demonstrate the difference. So I'm going to wind this on, long draw, and set it down just to show you the difference. So long draw, spinning a Turkish spindle supported, this is the fiber that I'm going to get. It is incredibly light. Even though this is a worsted prep, you can see how light, airy, and fluffy this is. I'm going to quickly wind on. Yes, I'm saying over two, under one in my head. <laughs> now, spinning it suspended, short forward draw. So spinning it suspended, short forward draw. I'm going to pop off. As you can see, I don't have as much air. Now I'm not putting a whole lot of twist into this. This is probably a little bit better sample. Yeah, this is a better, there we go. This is a much better sample. As you can see, it's definitely much tighter than spinning it long draw. Now, can you spin long draw with it suspended? Absolutely. For some reason, though, it, I get into a groove with whether or not it is suspended or supported. And traditionally, if it is, if I'm spinning suspended, I always do short forward draw. And then pop that off. There we go. There. Short forward draw. Definitely a much more worsted spin. And I will wind on quickly. And so to take this off, I'm going to slide out my shaft. I'll slide out my arms, making sure I keep, there's my tail, which I really want. Now this turtle is gonna collapse because I don't have very much, but I do wanna show how when you go to ply, I'm just going to slide this onto my thumb so it doesn't collapse on itself, but when you have a center pull ball, which is really lovely. So then when you go to ply, all you have to do is ply your two ends together, which is really very ingenious. Turkish spindles are probably one of the most versatile spindles that I have encountered in terms of being able to do so much with. Um, it's not to say that you can't spin and ply on other spindles, 
but as a new spinner, if you're looking for a tool that will get you started and can do it all, I think a Turkish spindle cross arm is definitely one that would work for you. So if you'd like more information on Jerry Brock spindles, please check out the description. Thank you so much for checking out this spindles spotlight and please be sure to check back for additional spindle spotlights.